Hi, my name is James Winsper. This is going to be a tutorial on utilising sweeps to good effect for the Warrior Collective. This is my assistant, Connor Porter, and we'll get started. So the first sweep we're going to look at technically isn't a sweep as in they're going to end up on the floor. It's used to off-balance them. Um, the sweep by itself is this. It's got a foot, we call it a foot tap. And all I'm going to do is adjust my weight by moving my back leg out, and then my left, my lead leg, knocks their lead leg, which off balances them. And this is good for setting the techniques up. Or if you're in close and you're trading, just to off balance them with a foot tap. Now the way to set this two ways will uh, I'll give you to, to play around with and have a go. One is from a distance, so you set it up by jabbing. So if you notice, as I jabbed, I didn't land heavy in front. What I did with the jab is as I jabbed, this foot stepped out. Because that sets me up then for the quick foot tap on the end. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. One, two, and then you can follow up. Now the important thing with this is not to step too close or too far, obviously. If I step in too close, I'm gonna be, this foot's gonna get in the way as I'm foot tapping. And if I step too far out, I'm gonna be off balance of myself trying to, knock, trying to knock their foot. So it's important just to get the right uh, angle, the right distance, so you can do the foot tap. And the other way you can do is just get your partner to cover up, just stay busy working the gloves, and then just step out and back in. Like this. And this is just a quick little foot tap used to off balance your opponent so you can try and land some better punches or shots or kicks or, or, or whatever, you, whatever you want. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is uh, what a uh, sweep off the back leg. And now the aim of this sweep is to take, put my feet behind both the legs and to lift the legs up. Okay? There's a, obviously, there's numerous ways to set this technique up. The way I'm going to demonstrate now is I'm going to fire a jab to the body. A right hand up to the head, but I'm going to purposely miss and fire it across my partner's body. So from this angle, I fire the jab down low, the right hand I purposely miss across. So I miss the head and I go straight across the body. Now my right leg is going to hit the legs and my right arm pushes back. So I'll do it slowly once, like this. And then just to speed it up. important to get a good lift with that leg. So we're not, hacking the, we're not hacking the legs in a straight line across here. We're aiming to hack and lift the legs up. So your foot doesn't want to sweep across the floor. The foot wants to lift up. So you've got the leg lifting their legs up and your right, up, your right arm that you missed with the cross is helping to pull them down. So you go one, two, and then as this pulls down, this foot wants to lift up, so I'll do it a little quick, like this, okay? The next one we'll look at is a defence from a back leg round kick. So, as Connor fires a back leg round kick, let's pretend he's got a pretty hefty kick, and I don't really want to stand here and take it, or catch it. You often get arguments, people saying, if Connor's a kick, you should never use your arms to block, you can break your arm, and then people say, you should never catch up this or break your ribs and it all depends on the, on the kicker's ability. Uh, one way to help reduce the risk though, whether you're blocking with your arm or whether you're catching it, is to move offline. So instead of the kick has 0% power there, 10, 20, 30, 100% power on the centre line. So the way I can stop the kick from having uh, its maximum potential is by moving. So I've stunted the kick's power. If it reaches 100% power there, then it starts to decline in power as it goes round. So what I'm aiming to do with this sweep is I step, as the power starts to diminish in the kick, I step round and I hook the leg up nice and tight. Now I don't want to hold it too far down the leg, because it's easy for Connor just to pull his leg out of it. So I want to try and grab it up by, by the calf and knee. For two reasons. One is it's good, obviously, for me to punch if the rules allow it. And alternatively, I'm not too far down, I'm still um, at a distance where I can manoeuvre for the next sweep. So the sweep is going to be, I step out, which ends the power of the kick, I scoop my hips back, change grips, and then it's a case of lifting up with this arm, I step with this foot, and I kick. I put my arm around Connor's waist because I like him and I didn't want him to land on the floor heavy 
uh, but obviously you, you wouldn't have to. I'll show you from this way. Just so back. And it's one movement. So without the kick, once I've caught the leg, it's that with the feet. The next one we're going to do is if you're sparring against someone, we'll go this side. And they like to fire the lead leg round kick, whether it's single or whether they're firing it double. But they do it moving forward, like this. So he's not, Connor's not just doing it on the spot. He's moving forward as he's kicking. He's trying to put me under pressure. And this week works fantastically well to use his there body weight and momentum against them. As they move in, I'm going to step off to the side and my trailing leg, the leg at the back, knocks the stall foot. And again, if Connor just slides foot in a second, if you, when he slides forward with a round kick, if you watch the stall foot, how it rises off the floor, it comes off the floor, which makes the sweep immensely more easier to do. So as the kick comes, I move off to the side, that's the first part. And again, you don't want to move too far out, too far in. You want to slide to about here. Then I practice just getting the inside of my foot to tap the back of his foot. And then to finish, I'll just hook the leg up for the sweep. Now the best way to practice this is to get your partner to slide in and kick and then reset. And they just keep doing that so I can just practice tagging it with the arm, then I can practice moving out, then I can practice trying to get my distance and my the really to work, so the key one about this is getting it all to flow well, so you don't want to the boy then the weight's gone down. So if you're a bit too rigid and jerky with the motion, his weight's going to be on the floor and it's going to be difficult to do. You need to hit the swing just as the foot is starting to come off the floor. Like this. Okay, the last sweep we're going to do is if they're fighting in an opposite stance. So if I've got my left leg in front, Connor's got his right leg in front. Then I'm going to do a spinning sweep. As Connor fires the kick up, my aim is to get underneath it. So as the kick comes, I do this. So I step with my left leg, my lead leg, and my head goes down. This foot then just knocks the stall foot to sweep. So we'll go for, the setup is really important, and you, you either have to commit to this technique fully or not at all. So if I sort of try and stay back and do it, it's not, it's not going to work. You need to make sure you get under the leg and then you sweep. Now again, the chances of pulling the sweep off depends on the kicker. If they're tired and their kicks are a bit lazy and sloppy, then you've got more chance of pulling the sweep off. Uh, sweep off. If they're a, a tremendous kicker, accurate, powerful, and they're full of beings, full of energy, then you'll stand less chance of pulling it off. So obviously, all, as with all techniques, you have to, uh, it depends all on your, all on your opponent. So to set the kick up, Connor just do a few side kicks, and I'm just going to practice doing this. And I know, yeah, I could be moving into the side kick, hence why I've got my guards up. But let's say I've had a, a round or two sparring, and I know he's not too good. I know he's not going to hit me. It's not too much of a danger, so it's a, a risk I'm willing to take. So the kick comes, and I step under, and I'm lifting it up with my shoulder like this. And then to finish, I just hook the leg up for the sweep. And it's all about making sure. You've got your weight on this foot. This is the one you pivot on. So you pivot on this foot, and you're just going to hook this one. So one more time. We'll do it one more time, so I enjoy doing that. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Nice. And that's a, a spinning hook sweep. Thanks for watching the tutorial on how to do effective sweeps. Uh, for more information on myself, at all my gym, please visit www.winsperskickboxing.com. Uh, for more videos and tutorials, make sure you check out Warrior Collective. Thank you.